I see a lot of times, no offense guys, but they're just kind of there to be there. And very rarely, well, I've had a few that are actually take charge and really get involved and have fun in the planning process. Because it really can be a lot of fun. It's not all about shades of pink and place cards. I mean, choosing music and food and tasting cakes and picking out wine. It's all a really fun, fun challenge. And it's so much more fun when you do it with your partner. You know, it's kind of like you're planning a really big day. You might as well make each of those planning steps a really big day. So I think it's important that you all see eye to eye. And girls, if you have this big vision of pink, I keep referring to pink because that's kind of just what I always think of <laughs> for some reason. But if your other half really hates pink, then meet in the middle. You know, maybe go a totally different color with slight accents of pink or just get on the same page so he has as much fun planning it and gets involved as you do. And it really doesn't have to be stressful. It's actually pretty easy. I guess for me, it has become very easy. But it can be really easy and it can be really fun if you just do it together. And, and don't say like, okay, honey, you're in charge of the music. Plan it together. And I think my one piece of advice, and Chris actually has taught this to me, is that you gotta stop and smell the roses. And I know everyone says that, stop and smell the roses, but really life is short. And I think having a child has made me realize that moments go by so fast. And if you don't stop and take them in and, and really just cherish those small times, <laughs> here I go cry again, cherish those small times in your life, they pass by so fast. And looking back at it, I know Chris and I were in a rush to get married and for different circumstances, you know, we wanted to, we have illnesses in the family, so we wanted to hurry and get married so we could ensure that those people would be able to celebrate with us. But looking back at kind of before that, you know, I was on a, I was on a plan. I had to buy my house by the time I was 28. I wanted my own business by the time I was 30. And it was time, da, da, da. And now, those are still important to me, and I've accomplished a lot of those goals, but you really gotta take the time and not work so hard, and really take a day off and do nothing with your family, and just enjoy life, because it goes by super fast. Before you know it, we're gonna be retired. I wonder where all the time went. <laughs>